Hello, my name is Tiffany, and today we are going to be learning about equivalent fractions. So first, let's start by reviewing the definition of equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are different fractions that name the same number. So, for example, I have three different names. A first name, a middle name, and a last name. My first name is Tiffany. My middle name is Nicole. And my last name is Porter. Three different names, but they all are <laughs> my name. They all describe the same person. Just like fractions can have different names, but they name the same number. We are going to look at the fraction one half using chocolate chip cookie. I think this one was here. I tried to trace these and notice, notice that the um, circles are a little bit bigger than the cookies, but that's okay. So we have, this is gonna be our one half. So I'm just gonna cut this right down the middle because there are two pieces and if I eat this half, that only leaves one half. Two fourths, three, Six and four eighths are all three equivalent fractions to one half. So if we cut four, the cookie into four pieces, oops. There we go. Okay, now there's our four pieces. If we take two away, one, two, if I eat those, and I'm, I'm gonna save those for later, but if I ate those now, that would leave a representation of two fourths. So now, if I cut the cookie into six pieces, there are six pieces of cookie. And if I take away or eat three pieces, one, two, three, that leaves three sixths, which is also equal to one half. Last but not least, we have four eighths. Now there's eight parts, eight whole parts to the cookie. And if I take one, two, three, four pieces away, then that leaves four eighths, which is equal to one half. Two fourths, three sixths, Four eighths is equal to one half. So these are all different names for the same number, which is an equivalent fraction.